Hello everyone, welcome back to Antitech India. This is September and the nuptial flight season is soon coming to an end. If you have got your queens already, congratulations. And if you haven't, then gear up, you still got a little bit of time. So today's topic is about differentiating between the two major types of queen ants that people keep, which are fully and semi clusters. But I need you to know that there are actually three types of queen ants. First, fully claustral, then semi claustral, and the third type of queen ants are socially parasitic queens. But because these uh, socially parasitic queens are very complicated and are rarely kept in captivity, so we don't have to talk about them for now. So, to make things easier, I need to break down this into three parts. First, differentiating semi and fully claustral queens on the basis of their physical appearance. This will help you in identifying whether you have a semi queen or not. Although it is pretty easy to know this just by knowing the species of the queen ant that you have, because you can search it on the web uh, whether that particular species queens are fully claustral or semi claustral, or you can even ask your ant keeping mates. But just in case you want to be a bit knowledgeable, then what you need to know is that every queen have got some wing muscles and fat reservoirs which have food stored in them. In case of a fully claustral queen, these muscles and fat reservoirs are found in very large amount which makes them bulky and fat. On the other hand, the semi claustral queens have very small amount of these fat reservoirs which makes them somewhat skinny. Also, a fully claustral queen have a very large gaster as compared to its thorax. It's wider, taller and lengthier. But for a semi claustral queen, their gasters are not so large than their thorax. They are almost of the same thickness in many cases. But sometimes there are a few exceptions. For example, this right here is a polyrachis queen. She got a big size with big thorax and gaster and she might look like a fully claustral queen but actually she is a semi claustral queen. So it's always best that you ask about the type and species of the queen ant that you have from your fellow ant keepers. Now the second point is on differentiating semi and fully claustral queens on basis of their feeding process. As I mentioned earlier in the previous point, queens have wing muscles and fat reservoirs to store their food. A fully crustal queen have a large amount of these wing muscles and fat reservoirs packed with enough energy and food that after they have set up their claustral chamber, they don't have to eat anything for almost two months. Their wing muscles feed them as well as their growing brood during the founding stage of the colony. And when the first workers arrive, it is then their duty to bring food from the wild for them and their mother. So basically, a fully claustral queen never have to forage for food in her entire life. But on the other hand, in case of a semi claustral queen, their wing muscles and food reservoirs are small and don't have enough food stored in them. By the time the brood of a semi claustral queen reaches its pupae or larval stage, their stored food gets completely depleted. Now the queen needs to forage for food for herself as well as her growing brood. So unlike a fully claustral queen, semi claustral queen have to forage for food at least during their founding stage. And the last point to differentiate fully and semi claustral queen is on basis of their workers. After a fully claustral queen lays its eggs, they just take a month to turn into adult workers. Because the fully claustral queens have a limited supply of food, that is the one stored inside the queen's body, their brood is designed to boost up the process of development. But in the case of a semi claustral queen, it takes around 2 months or even more for developing from egg to an adult worker. When it comes to size comparison, the workers and even the super majors of a fully claustral queen are smaller as compared to the queen. But in case of a semi claustral, many semi claustral species have their workers equal to the size of their queen. And that is it. These were the three major points of differentiation between a semi and a fully claustral queen. And if you are wondering about the social parasitic queens, we'll surely talk about them in some other video. 
टिल देन स्टे ट्यून माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो विल बी ऑन इंट्रोड्यूसिंग टू यू द सेमी क्लॉस्टल क्वींस दैट आई हैव केप्ट इन माई एंड टेक सो यू नो द ड्रिल सब्सक्राइब सो दैट यू डोंट मिस आउट एनी ऑफ द अपकमिंग वीडियोज एंड अपडेट्स एंड स्मैश द लाइक बटन इफ यू इंजॉय द वीडियो कीप वॉचिंग दिस इज एंड टेक इंडिया पीस आउट